Dodgers have won 16 of their last 19 games. Looking for the sweep today, and off we go with a fastball outside. They've won 16 of. A Marlins team that was within two games of 500 on July 4, 68. 3 0. In front, get him in position. Just pulled it. Four pitch walk. When he's not walking, guys, he's really hard to hit. The league's hitting 198 against him, which is top. He did with his first pitch to John Birdie. Back home with an 0 1. And that one's cut on a miss. So in two. That can go wrong. Overthrows that one. Wendell aboard with the leadoff walk. Pepio fires a 1 2. And that fades inside. Two balls and two. You can just see the spray pattern and it's starting to affect coming in. What you want to be right from the beginning. There goes the runner. Swing and a miss. Throw from Smith. Not in time. Stolen base. Joey. Aguilar 0 for 3 with a couple K's last night. He's. One of Needs to get better. 1 2 to Aguilar. Popped up. Back and started to try to avoid the zone like we've seen at times here. Pop fly, foul ground. Freddie Freeman out of room. Here's another one, two. Sticks with a fastball and misses. Down. Yeah, that's foul ball. No. Nope. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Wendell at second, Aguilar at first. Two and one. Two and two. Speed up your upper half. And you're just trying to find a late. Full count. Two on, one out, and a 3-2. Got him with a fastball. Second out on his second one, two out, and the five-hitter Brian Anderson. That scorched to left. Picked up on a bounce by Gallo. Could have a play at the plate. Here it comes. Gallo's hit it over. Brian Pepio goes back to work. Strike one. Kirsten? Yeah, guys, they're in the stadium. They just had a little bit of a hiccup, so they were fixing it over here in the Dodgers dugout. But now good to go. All right, fly to center field for Cody Bellinger. Rojas, the first out of the second. Outfield assist, and that scoreless first inning. Ball one on Lewin Diaz. Two and oh. Line drive, base hit right center. That'll split the gap. Diaz on it. It was off yesterday. Pops the first one back. Out of play. It's lined up beautifully. Caught his bat there, and it's 0-2. Jacob's upbringing, when you look at where he lived, the head coach at Pitt, when... He was a pirate. On the ground to third, Muncy gobbles it up and gets Stallings to it. A lot of pirate games to cool <laughs> off. <laughs> He's behind 0 2. Aggressive. Good take on a well located high fastball. 
on one two burdick swings and misses at that high fastball good movement to it is bellinger three nothing dodgers ryan pepio to the top of the order and joey wendell two on outfield assist from joey gallo ended that inning with no damage 13 in the second 2-0 that's right one that sure was fun to watch him external for sure after the first Swatted to left. Here comes Gallo. Jay Gallo have a outfield assist. Triple off the wall. Diving catch. Strike one on John Birdie. Fielders are just biz bag. Biz bag. It's a was it old detergent. They used to have four shaking their head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fly ball right center. No dirt needed here. Fastball is high, 1 0. In finance. One of the reasons why he went to Butler. He had offers from bigger programs. It's a beautiful place, Butler University in Indianapolis, of course. And one of the beautiful basketball venues in the country, Hinkle Fieldhouse. Here's a one two from Pepio to Aguilar. He got him with a high fastball, and he's got his first one, two, three inning of the day. Came to my house and says, Hey, maybe you want to play a baseball professional? I said, there is any. Well, anyway, he came on to pay her $55 a week. So my father had to go out. My mother says, George. At the time. Well, I wasn't playing uh, baseball, I was playing softball. Okay. But it uh, took me back and. Uh, uh, we didn't have all these computers and all of this, and that was the only thing we had to do was play baseball because we didn't have any money. Ryan Pepio. This is upstairs, and the count goes full. So you were an Inglewood native. And because we only have the AAA team out here, the Angels. Right. And then when the Dodgers came out and started playing in uh, the Coliseum, thrilled that uh, the baseball is coming back for girls. Uh -huh. And before long, we're going to have a league of our own again. That's what I'm working for. A little league World Series for girls. Absolutely. And we need it. We had over 500 girls come out for baseball for all about a month ago. And it was fantastic. I'm going to be wrong, but my gosh, it tells the whole truth about the league that Penny Marshall couldn't tell. Well, that was going to be my next question for yeah. you. Wonderful series. That was a great negotiation for you to say, you can't do this, and I can't help unless you get me in there. That's right. <laughs> You've got to do that. And uh, I'm, We got uh, about a million and a half, but I need another million. Okay. okay. And uh, that would be the most fantastic thing there. Do not belong in Cooperstown. We didn't throw, we didn't, uh, you know, uh, pitch 59 uh, is scoreless. It's of fame for our amount of ability. For sure. What have you. For sure, for and sure. That, and that's what we want to do. Well, we're definitely going to run. And a boy. <laughs> I remember you and my will can do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Donate it right back. Yes, you are. And my gosh, calling these ball games oh. and, and you being such a great pitcher. Go on with my great pitchers. Yeah. How often do you get to get out to the park these days? Well, I don't get to go out much because um, nobody will come and take me. That one's off the top of the wall and gone. And the Marlins are on the board on a home run from Lewin Diaz. It's 4-2. Who was the best fix? mechanics? Everything you clean with getting the oh, ball out of her glove. Oh my good arm. Easy, easy, yeah. easy. And t turn that double play. There's uh -huh. nothing I like better. And I can tell, I can tell, I can tell a ball player even before they get out there on the field. Uh huh. Oh, I was so thrilled because uh, Kim, you know, used to be assistant general manager at right. at the uh, Dodger Stadium. But any tokens, because we have a token that will take us down. If she's as good as a bat in those particular areas, let her have the chance. Mookie Betts makes the catch made in this game. Strike one on Peyton Burdick. You know, it's impressive what they did today, but it's meaning. I think also that you know, yesterday talked about this game and coming into it, how it could affect the Dodger pitching staff. Somebody get on an upward spiral and take somebody else on a downward spiral. You just never know how. The
minutes to go. He races on. Strike out for Pepio. Stay away from ball one and stay away from walks. Fish get their third look at him here. Ball one on Joey Wendell. Lifted to the left field corner. Does Gallo have room? He does. There a chance he goes into the sixth inning for the first time in the big leagues. Bouncer to third. He gets birdie on one pitch. Halfway home. He's really got some good life to it. Three, four, and five for the Marlins. Strike one on Aguilar. It's matched a career high with six Ks. And in position to get his sends and you beat that starting pitcher. Yeah. Man. That was a memorable win. Caught the bat, foul ball. Sharply hit by Max Muncy. Gallo over to cut it off. Aguilar has got a leadoff single. Strike one. And with the action in the Dodger bullpen, you go down there, maybe work on some other things if that's what happens to him. It's a lot better meeting when you're getting news like that and you feel like his 2 1 pitch. Is fouled off two and two. Uh, it's a game of adjustments, and you adjust. Another two two pitch. Full count. Pop fly into the bright sunshine. Left side is Trey Turner. At a glance from Ryan, and he's like, No, I'm not coming. Let's go. Good change up right there. Tommy used to do that. An easy voice to hear. <laughs> right? <laughs> I would imagine. Doc's got that going for him, too. He's made a couple plays. It's just that doesn't happen by accident, folks. Strikeout for Pepio. Good pep talk, Dave. Uh huh. And the really good change up that he threw to Anderson. It's only the 11th one he's thrown today. Starting as a strike and then crowding the right handed hitter. Top to left side, charging Muncie, finishing off six innings for Ryan.